What's up guys, I'm Branch with Corbin's Archery. Today we're gonna to do a little bit of testing. I've got a bear shaft, a right helical, and a left helical. We're gonna see if the way the arrow comes out of the bow off, based on the string twist, if it affects the flight. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot my bear shaft. You can see right there, I've got a little mark on there. We're gonna see which way this arrow rotates. It's gonna be a left, I know, uh, based upon the strings, which way it's gonna go. Let's try it out. So I've got my target real close here. I've got my mark on my knock, and we'll give it a quick shot. All right, so what we can see here is we've got a quarter turn straight out of the bow with no fletchings. Our knock is now to the left. So let's see what happens when we shoot it with a right helical and a left helical and see if it equally twists or if the left twists more than the right, meaning that the arrow is able to recover quicker the way it's supposed to come out. All right, so I've got my mark here on my hard left helical fletching. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna shoot this, see how far left it goes, if it spins more, um, since it is a left twisted string on there. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. So really, it's straight up and down. That Either that's a full rotation, we may step a little bit closer to see, make sure it's not a full rotation with that strong helical. Let's take a one step closer. All right, here we go. Okay. So what we can see here is my mark is on the bottom. So it's pretty interesting to see how much of a difference that left helical made in one foot. It spun that arrow all the way around. We've got it on the bottom, slightly on the left side. Now let's shoot the right and see what it does. All right, so I've got my right helical with, with my mark. I'm gonna start from the same spot that I did with my left helical, see if that changes any. Let's stop. Let's see here. So right helical, it's on the left side, which is about roughly where the first one is. We'll take one step forward and kind of see what that looks like. Second shot from a little closer. Okay, so what we can see here is we've got it a quarter turn to the right. Well guys, so, we tested that. What we found is that with a left helical on a um, left clocking bow, that, that, sh that string is able to spin, or that arrow is able to spin faster. When you put a right helical on there, it takes a little bit more time to recover. So when you do have a left clocking string, you wanna make sure you put a left helical on there, vice versa, just to make sure that that arrow spins as fast as possible. Thank y'all, if y'all have any questions, drop them in the comments below and y'all have a great day.